Hi guys, today we're playing Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. This was the standalone expansion pack for Far Cry 3, meaning that in order to play it, you didn't have to have Far Cry 3. I actually have Far Cry 3, but on the PlayStation 3. This is on the Xbox 360. I don't know how Far Cry 3 looked at on the Xbox 360, but I played the demo of this on um, PlayStation 3 and it looked comparable. This is the full game, but what you'll see on this demo, I mean on this video is basically what you would see on the demo, so it's about the same thing. So you'll probably be able to tell this game's going to have an 80s vibe. We'll start new game. Not that I got anywhere. I got this recently. Um, It was like half off or whatever. Like usually it's fourteen dollars. I think I got it for seven. I'm so glad that Xbox um or Microsoft decided to get rid of their point system. They actually use real money now. So this is supposed to look like an old VHS tape and um Michael Bean from Aliens and um Terminator actually does the voice of the main character. And this is kind of a Sega Genesis look, and it has that, what the heck do you call it? Gosh, Sean, I'm having a brain fart right now. I can't think of the term, like for the B-movie. Obviously that looks like like it's um from Terminator. Oh, I meant to say Grindhouse. That's what I meant to say. Sorry, I've had a long day and I'm trying to record these videos. Um I actually just finished one. You'll probably see them on different days, but it's easier for me to record everything on one day because of my time limitations. Probably should turn this down a bit, probably because the mic's going to be picking up the sound too and it's probably not going to sync perfectly. This is really tongue in cheek and very different from Far Cry 3 in terms of theme, but very similar in terms of gameplay. And the soundtrack's absolutely amazing in this game. I can't stress that. Normally I would skip the cutscenes, but this gives you a good idea of the tone of the game. I gotta stop the um, music so YouTube doesn't kick me off. I'll start it up again once it quits playing the license. Um, I believe it's a Little Richard song. Can't remember which one it is because I cut it off really fast. I haven't played much of this because I got this around the time I got Grand Theft Auto 5. This will probably be the next thing I get play or Killzone 3. I haven't decided yet. And I got the 
Kingdom Hearts HD Remake. I have so many damn games, and then I'm getting Beyond Two Souls. Um, my birthday was September the 12th, so I got a bunch of used games, which is good for you guys, but I need to start doing retro games, too. So as you can see, if you've ever played Far Cry 3, this is a lot different. One thing I'll have to say about Far Cry, or the series in general, but Far Cry 3, it's um, it's a lot more difficult than Call of Duty or um, Battlefield. As you can see, instead of bullets, you're shooting lasers. It looks cool in it has this VHS filter on it so it looks like an old tape from the 80s the engine they use for Far Cry 3 is fantastic for consoles I almost feel like the PlayStation 4 and uh, Xbox One are coming out too soon I know people are like well PC gaming has been so so much better for so long and all, all this stuff and I know I'm just a humble console gamer but um I just feel like the new upgrade in graphics is just I don't know cosmetic I don't see a lot of improvements in gameplay I just see like prettier looking games like for instance when the original Xbox came out when PlayStation 2 was out the games looked a lot better and they had normal mapping and stuff like that but um, all in all you could still play similar games I'm sure that they'll look better with time but so far what I've seen I've, I've been impressed gra like with the graphics don't get me wrong but like after playing like Grand Theft Auto 5 and seeing the other games that are coming out and playing the games that are already out I'm like what have I seen like new system wise that's really sold me I haven't seen anything and unfortunately well, I can put the music back on Unfortunately, like all the sequels, all the franchises and stuff I like are going to be on the new system, so I'm not going to have any choice but to upgrade at some point if I have the money, that is. But I just don't see the need to, um, if you notice this tutorials, trying to be silly. But I haven't f played any game where I felt like something was limited, especially Grand Theft Auto V. Like, that game has really impressed me. And then Beyond Two Souls looks really good, and I just played The Last of Us. That's amazing. Like, only thing I can see is more detail and better textures and maybe more things on the screen at once, but... I don't feel like my gameplay experience will be hampered by anything. Instead of um, vines, like in Far Cry 3 on this, you gotta climb those things, but I jumped over it so I didn't have to climb it. The tutorial is somewhat helpful, but it's supposed to be silly at the same time. This is actually a feature I think that's in Crisis 2. If you aren't in the know, the people who made the first Far Cry are the people that make the Crisis games, so there is like a... There's somewhat of a resemblance in the gameplay style. Spider, these guys are a mega force. I got a bad feeling about this. Like 
got your back, bro. You are all soul, brother. It's a shame that, like, once, like, we reach the peak of graphics, they're gonna quit, like, basically making games for the original consoles, even though they're gonna say they're gonna support them. What I think is gonna happen is they're gonna add, like, a bunch of, um, crappy kid games later on. That's pretty cool. You don't see that too much in games. Like with the melee attacks. Time to get higher. Seriously. Loading more training hits from the ABCs of war. Cause once the PlayStation 3 was out, there was very few games on the PlayStation 2 that I wanted to play. Maybe the first year or so there is games um on the PlayStation 2 I wanted to play like I think Final Fantasy 12 and stuff were on the PlayStation still PlayStation 2 I mean when PlayStation 2 came out there wasn't really a lot of games there's resistance fall of man when PlayStation 3 came out in layer and I waited a year to get a PlayStation 3 and I think there was Ninja Gaiden Sigma which was a remake of an Xbox game shit stealth is not one of my specialties I'm probably going to die. This, these Far Cry games are somewhat difficult when you first play them. I actually finished Far Cry 3, so it's not like they're impossible, but if you're used to playing like Call of Duty or something, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Because there's a little less forgiven, because it's an open environment, so you can get flanked and stuff. This is a very inaccurate gun. I believe I have a weapon wheel with decent weapons. I love having a game that shoots lasers. I wish there was more. Reminds me of the G.I. Joe cartoon. I mean, I think they were supposed to be bullets, but they always were drawn like lasers. I don't even know what those things do. I gotta heal myself. Like Predator. Gosh, I'm not very good at this. Far Cry, you gotta be a little bit more stealthy. I pushed the wrong button. I threw a grenade I probably could have used at some point. What are you gonna do? Send for a medic to kill him too. I'm probably calling for reinforcements. It looks like the heart of the matter. You can download the demo and you can play this part. Like I said, I haven't really played much of this. Wish I could fly an aircraft. That's one thing in Far Cry 3 I've always wanted to do is fly aircraft. No nano meds left. And daddy needs his medicine. <laughs> the speech in this is so funny. Daddy needs his medicine. Though I'm a super cyborg soldier, I don't feel any more powerful than I did in Far Cry 3, but I like the cool theme.
there's a leveling up system, which is nice. One thing I'll give the Xbox 360 credit for is that most of the games that are first person shooters are optimized pretty well for the controller. Um, PlayStation 3 is hit or miss. The only thing I've complained about about the Xbox 360 is the analog sticks start to get loose and if you don't center them manually yourself they can tend to drift to the left or right a little bit depending on what game it is. Call of Duty is really good like I'm pushing A. I think I'm pushing A. Come on. Yeah, at least stay stationary on that. I gotta steal shit from them though. Oh, I guess I'm taking ammo. Let's just get to the mainframe. Figure out what the hell is going on. Wish I could find more health. I don't know where you find health. I don't know much about this game, to be honest. This is probably the farthest I've even got on it. But I really like Far Cry 3, and $7, you can't beat it. Like in this game, in my opinion, I think it's easier to fight people in indoor areas because they can't flank you as easy. You don't have to worry about people above you or below you. I love the soundtrack though. They captured that grindhouse 80s vibe. That guy looks like bad news. Shouldn't you? Oh shit. And I don't have any health. Here I am talking about inside being easier. Now I got this freaking bio soldier, whatever the hell he is. I gotta hide behind this area so I can heal my one little thing of life. Oh, so you can get two things. I wasn't aware of that. I didn't know you could do this. Oh wow, I didn't know you could heal all the way. That changes everything. I'm sorry I'm playing this game for the almost for the first time basically. I'm learning all this stuff. Instead of just playing the game, it probably makes a boring video. Is that him? That spider or whatever the hell he calls himself? You gotta love it when their heads explode like that. Oh, it's Mr. Grenade or Molotov Cocktail. I don't know what your your um, nickname is. Oh, I'm good with the quips today. Alert. 
Is there anything explosive near you? I like explosions. I'm gonna blow that up even though it's not gonna serve any purpose. Heal your broken ass arm. Oh, I wanted to see his little limp wrist. Have him try to put it back together, but he used a little stem pack or whatever the heck that is. Oh, there's a alarm that's going off. It's no longer functioning now, so I don't see it going off in the near future, but whatever. Hey, guy. Wish I had a cool one-liners to say, but I do not. Yeah, the Xbox 360 controller is way easier to pull off headshots. I did get good at Battlefield 3 with stuff like that, however. I don't know how well I fare now because I haven't played it in a while. I don't know how long this expansion pack is, but I mean for $7, considering the original game when it first came out was 6 you can't complain. And it's pretty unique, it's not like an extra mission or something, it's a completely different universe. It just has like the same sort of mechanics. And what's cool is you don't, if you don't have Far Cry 3 you can still play this. What am I supposed to do? I guess go here. Follow the diamond. Objective complete. They must think I'm smarter in this game. Because they don't have a follow. <laughs> I love how they just slide forward and not actually walk. <laughs> I laugh in the 20 seconds to comply because that's um Ed 209 from Robocop. Speaking of that remake, what do you guys think about that? I think it's a joke. Like the story looks completely different and how Robocop is is completely different and it's not Peter Weller. That's why Robocop 3 sucks so hardcore. Like, even if the store was crappy, if it had Peter Weller, it would be good, because Peter Weller's kind of like a robot anyway. Even though he's, like, really smart and stuff like that, he seems like he's kind of like, like just a, a drone, like, when he's in his movies. Although, since he's gotten older, if you see him on conventions, he's more active and stuff like that, but... But even in, um, was it Buckaroo, Buckaroo Banzai, in whatever dimension, even though he's supposed to be this cool dude, he's still kind of... Kind of drawl. Which I like, actually. And Naked Lunch, he's like that too. He doesn't have much range. But yet, the range that he picks is awesome. Like Robocop, you could obviously tell something was wrong if you watch Robocop 3. I can't even stand watching Robocop 3. Robocop 3 gives me the same bad feelings that A Nightmare on Elm Street 6, or if you're used to calling it Freddy's Dead, gives me. I hate that movie so much. I'm one of the few people who actually like Robocop 2, by the way. But that might be because of Peter Weller. Apparently there's some um, comic book. I believe I've seen it before at the comic book store. But it's too cheap to get it. 
where they they cut like a lot out because RoboCop two and three were supposed to be the same movie, but it was too long, so they split it up in two movies. But um, hold your limp wrist. I'm getting shot at here by him, which means I don't have a prayer. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's gonna use that thing. You see, this game definitely doesn't take itself seriously. So I'm guessing the key is to shoot him in the head. Alright. Sound like you had an orgasm there for a second. I'm just doing a repair here. Don't look like his arm, unless that's where Bionic Commando's genitalia rely. I don't know. Hey, won't you step by that barrel? Objective complete. But anyway, as I was talking about, it's supposed to be two movies, so there's a comic book called Frank Miller's RoboCop 2, which I guess is supposed to incorporate three, and I went on Amazon and read the reviews, like half of the people like it and half the people absolutely hate it. I'd be interested in reading it though, if I wasn't a cheap bastard and they probably already sold out by now. I think the only Frank Miller RoboCop thing that they have had is RoboCop vs. Terminator, which the video games based on but really only the Super Nintendo version really follows the comic book so I don't know but that's where those games came from is the Frank Miller comic book I saw that it's probably worth money but they since it's been there forever it still has the same price from I guess the 90s so it's like $12 when a comic book like that now would probably cost like $24 with inflation but the comic book store with stuff they put on their shelf. I guess they don't have the time to take that into consideration. So they just have so much shit. And it's like a mom and pop place. So it's not like a corporate place where they like. Have like a little barcode scanner and do inventory and whatnot. I'm going to stop here. Um, this was Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. I probably played this way too long. Probably lost your interest especially since I was talking about unrelated topics but um yeah great game Far Cry 3 is a great game I didn't like Far Cry 2 like Far Cry 1 loved Crisis Crisis 2 is okay Crisis 3 is okay but yeah Far Cry 3 Crisis 1 Far Cry 1 awesome this is awesome too definitely check it out especially if it's still on sale I don't know if it is but even fourteen dollars that's the full price is quite a deal um it's probably half that overseas because I know your currency is worth a little bit more than ours it's like like a, I guess um a pound over there is like would be considered like a dollar and sixty cents here so you do the math but um yeah thanks for watching and take care bye